Hello everyone. Today's video is about a post-quantum encryption scheme called learning with errors. Now, we are not at the quantum age yet, but we're getting there eventually. And then all crypto systems that rely on vectorization or discrete logarithms, such as RSA or Diffie-Hellman, will become obsolete, as their mathematical foundations are not unbreakable anymore. This is why Zoom has adopted Kyber 768 as post-quantum cryptography. That's a protocol that applies learning with errors based on this seminal work by Audit Regev. In this video, I will explain what learning with errors is and give a concrete example to make it understandable. I will present the algorithm and an example side by side, and the example is taken from a paper by Stephen Harrigan, which I will link in the description. My example is a bit different though. First, we generate m vectors, let's say three, of length n, let's say four, from a body of natural numbers z. As usual, we are dealing with the modulo, which we for simplicity reason pick as 7. So we have these three vectors. As the name of the method suggests, we also need to pick an error. So we have an error vector e, which we choose as 0, minus 1, 1. Now these errors are very, relatively small, because all of our numbers here are very small. In reality, obviously, everything would be much larger. The final ingredient is the secret key s of length n, so the same length as our vectors, which is 4, which we also randomly choose, using these values. Note that all are modulo 7. Now we can finally start calculating. We multiply each element of a with the respective element of s and add or deduct the respective value of the error vector e. This looks like this. We take the modulo 7 of each of these results and this forms the new vector which is called b. The result is now stored together with the vector's ai. So, and this is now the public key. Remember, the private key is just a secret vector s. So, s is secret, private, and the other thing, this a, b combination, is the public key. Now we can encrypt. Encryption happens bitwise. It is different for zeros and for ones. So depending on how stuff is encrypted, we can now later, during the decryption, deduct whether it was a 0 or a 1. And I will show you how to encrypt both at the same time. First, we take a random number of these public key tuples from the three we have. So we take two at random, and let's say we take the first and the third um, tuple for the 0, and the first and the second one for the 1 bit value. These choices are random. For both 0 and 1, we first sum up the individual elements of the AI modulo 7. Next, we add up the associated values for BI. For bits of value 1, we furthermore add the rounded down half of the modulo to the BI if, well, if the bit is a 1, right? So this is how we differentiate between a 1 and a 0. We don't do this for 0, we only do this for 1. So the calculation for bits 0 and 1 result in these two tuples. To decrypt, we multiply the individual items of the ciphertexts A and S, as we did as a preparation for the encryption, and take modulo 7 of the result. We subtract that result from the B values, 2 and 0, respectively. If we, as we do here, arrive at a negative value, we add the modulo to it to get a positive value. The result can now be interpreted as follows. If the value we come up with is closer to 0 than to the half of the module around it down, the encrypted bit was a 0. Otherwise, as we see in the example below, it was a 1. This is exactly what we had previously. Thank God. And this is it. This is the LWE algorithm. It's relatively easy, but if we imagine bigger numbers and bigger errors, uh, it's even hard for quantum computers to solve. And obviously you would need much larger numbers and errors and for the actual implementation, which is also the main drawback of the method. Encrypting each individual bit that way is a huge overhead and actually not feasible in practice. That's why learning with errors over rings is applied, which I might talk about in another video depending on the reception of this one. So see you then in this video or in another video. Like this video, subscribe to the channel and stay secure.